just charged up the car uh, to 100% as you can see and um, we're actually about to go on holiday and um, we'll be away for 10 days or so um, so I am intrigued to see what the dip in battery is just when the car is sitting for an extended period of time because uh, generally I'm using it most days though that being said I haven't used it I've been very busy so I, I haven't used it much in the last couple of weeks so this is the first charge I've had in uh, almost two weeks and I was only down to about 58% uh, on the, so I had not used very much of the battery at all um, so uh, we'll see what happens in uh, 10 days time or so and see what the dip is just a just kind of general dip in battery life for the car just sitting uh, not being used all right see you later So a few people have been asking me with the uh, Renault Zoe and I guess in general with uh, most EV cars is um, what happens to the battery if you just leave the car, if it's not being used for a long time. Um, so I haven't really had a chance to uh, test this because I've been using the car uh, regularly since um, getting it. but. Um, we just had our uh, two weeks of holiday and uh, well a week and a bit of holiday and um, however the car hasn't uh, I still haven't used the car even though I've been back home for a few days uh, so it's been about two weeks in fact it has been uh, more than two weeks since uh, it was charged and it was charged to uh, 100% and then I did drive perhaps a mile in it something like that uh, before the car was left. So I would think it was pretty much 100%, 99% uh, on the battery charge when it was left. So I'm just, uh, I'm gonna take some stuff uh, up. Uh, I've got a, a sound system I need to move. Uh, so I'm gonna put that in the back of the car and uh, take that up the road and see what it's at. Now I could uh, just show you here on the computer because of course the car checks in uh, to Renault uh, every day even though it's not being used uh, it still does a check-in and uh, so uh, on the website you can go and have a look and see what the battery charge is so I, I know what it is but that would spoil the fun so we're gonna go and have a wee look So, first time in the car for two weeks and 98% on the battery, uh, 86 miles left on the range. So, that's not bad, is it? I, um, the weather has been, well, you can see the weather is absolutely miserable uh, today. Uh, the weather has been pretty, uh, uh, pretty mixed and uh, for at least a week of, of the time the car's been sitting there, the weather's been very warm. It is uh, 14 degrees at the moment, so it is not uh, uh, not super warm. Um, but, well, there you go. There's no problem leaving the car uh, for, obviously, you could leave it for a, a few months, I guess, and it would be... Uh, it would be absolutely fine. There's minimal battery drain. Um, I'd, I'd seen a video of somebody else doing this with a, a, a Tesla Model S, and uh, it was, I think, in very cold weather uh, for a month, and I think it had dropped about 10% on the, the charge. So it'd be interesting to know what it did in the middle of the winter. Uh, but uh, in the middle of the summer here, basically, it's no problem leaving the car. So we'll just check it starts up. Uh, so the usual process, foot on the brake and... Hurt, 
and you get a bit of Led Zeppelin to go with it. Fantastic. And there we are, all on, air conditioning's on, uh, no problems. So there you are. No worries with battery fade over time. Cheers.